Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to speak about amphiprotic and amphoteric substances. Let's get started. First of all, we have to know what is meant by amphiprotic. From its name, we have here protic, so we have a proton, we have a proton. So protic refers to the proton. Okay, this is how you could differentiate between amphiprotic and amphoteric. Amphiprotic is focusing on the proton transfer. For that reason, we are here speaking about pronested Lowry definition of acids and bases. But both of them, you have to know that, both of them, they can react with acids as base or they can they act with base as an acid. For that reason, they are uh, or amphiprotic or amphoteric could be a substance act as both acid and base. Of course, amphoteric is more general term for uh, uh, this kind of substances. For that reason, we call them uh, uh, amphiprotic and all ampho so all amphiprotic are amphoteric, but it does not require the transfer of proton. So, if we have an amphoteric substance, amphoteric substance, it does not uh, include a transfer of proton when it is reacting. Okay, so uh, the clear example about amphiprotic uh, 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 substances is H2O. Why is that? Simply because H2O can gain a proton to make H3O positive, or it can lose a proton to be OH negative. For that reason, it is amphiprotic. So it can act as an acid by donating H positive, or it can act as base by accepting H positive. This is amphiprotic. Amphiprotic. It involves a, or it act as acid or base by losing or gaining H positive. Uh, on the other side, the amphoteric substances are the are those who react as acid or base uh, to produce, as you can see here, they are producing salt. So we have here hydroxides of some metals like aluminium and, and zinc. They react with acids or base. So as you can see here, we have aluminium hydroxide. It could react with acid to make salt or it could react with base also to make salt. Let's check a question about this particular problem. Explain why the uh, dihydrogen phosphate anion H2PO4 negative can show amphiprotic behavior. Okay, what I can do here, I can just write the, uh, the anion that we have, so H2PO4 negative. Uh, uh, let's check. If it gained H positive, if it gained H positive, it will become H3PO4. This is after gaining H positive. For that reason, we can consider it as base. Why? Because it can accept H positive. What do you think it can lose? Yes, let's check. If it can lose H positive, so it could be HPO4 to negative. So in this case, it is acid. So it, can, it could be acid or base. Base by gaining a proton, acid by losing a proton.